It was a big night for the Democratic Farmer Labor Party as more candidates announced their bids and intent to run for some of the state's highest offices. As Mel Meyer reports, the announcements from John Purcell and Representative Deborah Hillstrom came to many as a welcome surprise. The Beltrami County DFL Fish Fry brought in community members to hear from some of the candidates looking to represent them down in St. Paul. Former Minnesota House Representative John Purcell lost to Republican Matt Bliss during last year's election. He says he's ready to take back his seat. Wanted to try and finish some unfinished business. One of the areas he's looking at improving is special education in schools and reducing college student debt. Education's a priority for me and, and I'm going to do the best I can. Current state representative and a no Assistant County Attorney Deborah Hillstrom says she'll run for Attorney General should Lori Swanson run for Governor. Hillstrom says she looks forward to representing elder abuse and financial cases should she go on to take the AG position. I believe that the Attorney General's office is the one office that attempts to balance regular Minnesotans' rights against the big guys. Other candidates that had previously announced their runs for Governor also made appearances at the event. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Rep. Paul Thiessen is a former Speaker of the Minnesota Minnesota House and is in his eighth term representing his district in Minneapolis. Politics I like to practice is really to take the energy from outside the Capitol and bring it into the Capitol. Rebecca Otto was elected as state auditor in 2006 as Minnesota's first female Democrat to hold the position. I love this state and we can continue to do a better job on behalf of all Minnesotans. The candidates are now looking to get the endorsement of the party which is expected to be decided by the beginning of next June. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The race for Minnesota governor has a crowded field on the Republican ticket as well. Currently, seven Republican candidates have filed for the state's highest office. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.